Impress, adding multimedia. You already know how to create slides and apply templates to slides to get some background color. But what's the point of a multimedia presentation if you don't add any media to it? By the way, when I say media, I'm referring to files containing audio, images, video, or even text. Although there are several methods of adding media to a slide, for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll concentrate on just two. The first method uses the media chooser inside your slide in the content placeholder. When I hover the mouse over each of these, it'll tell you what it does. For example, this one inserts a table, this one inserts a chart, this one inserts a movie, and this one inserts a picture. Whichever one you choose will fill the content placeholder with that type of media. But before we begin, we have to do some setup to our practice presentation. Let's start over by deleting these last two slides here. All I have to do is right click on one of them and choose delete slide. Now I'll do the same to this one. There, now we're left with our plain slide. Now, I've decided that I want our practice presentation to be about Christmas, so we're going to have to make it look somewhat Christmassy. So let's go over to the master's pages on the task pane to find a template that could be used for Christmas. Now, I could use this lime green or this abstract green, but that's rather ugly. I think I'll choose this abstract red for my template instead. So I'll right click on it and choose apply to selected slides. There. Next I'll click the title placeholder and add a title. Let's call it Christmas 2012. Now notice while I'm typing the background turned black. This is normal. It will go away once you click off of it. See? Now I want a picture on my title slide, but there's no content placeholder for it. I could use one without it, but in this video you're learning how to use placeholders. So let's go down to Layouts and choose Title, comma, Content Placeholder. That's this one right here. Ah, there we go. Now you can use the Media Chooser. Let's click on Insert Picture, which is this bottom left one. Now we're going to navigate to the Student Media Folder files into the Images folder. I'm going to use this big dog for the title page. So I'll double click on it to add it. And voila, my title slide is done. On to the next slide. Click the New Slide button to create a new slide. Or I'll just right click down here and just choose New Slide. This slide's going to have a title, a couple of snippets of information on the left, and a picture on the right. So I'm going to choose this layout here called Title to Content and Content. There. Let's add a title, Preparing for Trip. Preparing for Trip. Now in this top left placeholder, I'm going to add some text. We're going to say, Martha wanted to travel with me. First, let me adjust this so we can see it all. Martha wanted to travel with me. Now let's get rid of the bullet point by clicking up here. And I want to center it also, so I'll click on this center button. Very good. In the second placeholder below, I'm going to put, I had a lot of clothes to pack. I was gone for two weeks. I had a lot of clothes to pack. I was gone for two weeks. 
Great. Now, like the other one, we're going to go ahead and select it, get rid of the bullet, and center it. Whoops, that wasn't center. And center it. Now it looks good. All right, now for the picture. Over on the right, I'm going to click on Insert Picture in the Media Chooser. Now I'll navigate to the student files and go into images. Then I'm going to double click on the picture of my wonderful dog Martha who anxiously jumped into the suitcase. After a couple of seconds it adds it into the placeholder nice and neat. Now notice how the placeholder or the picture covers the content placeholder perfectly. Well that's the purpose of them to act as a layout for you to generate a nice looking slide relatively quickly. Next I'm going to add a slide with just a title and a movie. You see as I was preparing to go Pierre saw Martha get into the suitcase and got jealous. So it just so happens I have a video of it. So make sure that your new slide is selected and then we're going to go into layouts. Oh, I have to create the new slide first, though. So we'll right-click down here and click New Slide. And then we're going to go into Layouts. And the second one down is the one that I want, Title, comma, Content. Just two things. Inserting a movie using the Media cho Chooser works just the same way as inserting a picture, except we click on the bottom right for Movie, like so. But I think I should put... A title in here first. So I'm going to click up here into the title area. I'm going to type in Pierre was jealous. And now we'll go down here and we'll click on the insert movie in the media chooser. Now I'm going to go into the student media files and into videos. Notice, however, that the movies don't show up here. That's because LibreOffice is looking for specific types of movie files. If you click on this little drop down arrow down here, you can see all the types of movie files that LibreOffice is looking for. Well, the one that we have is a Windows uh, WMV format. And that's a Microsoft Windows specific format. And it doesn't show up unless we actually choose this last one, all files. So we're gonna choose that one, and then you'll see that they show up here. Now we just simply double click on poor Pierre and it will open and insert it into the content placeholder. There it is. Now when your slide is played, the video will automatically start. I know this was a lot of information, so I'm going to release you now to practice a bit on your own. Your instructor is available to help if you need it.